in my context, and um, I will talk about backgrounds and system architecture overview, how I based on transcoding video quality estimation and uh, video quality regulation scheme and uh, experimental results and assessment. And finally, is my conclusion. And uh, first of all, um, Baidu uh, is, is the mot motivation about our research that high quality real-time real uh, video apps bring up some challenges. And uh, um, despite the 4G um, mobile um, network, but the fee about uh, bandwidth is really, is really, is really um, expensive. So we found that our eye based video um, can solve uh, some of these um, challenges. So, um, but uh, suggest that the, this future uh, is the user's experience and maybe uh, better than, than this one. And so, how to estimate the video quality? And as we know that ASMR is, is very popular, and uh, despite it is, is popularity, but ASMR cannot very well to estimate some picture images for or also the same video content, such as this. And the two of them have the same ASMR, but the the depth one maybe have a good essential uh, quality. So we don't use the PSNR to, to access uh, the video card. Um, as we know that IT recommendation G.1000 can access the video card and it is uh, very uh, videos. Then we, we use um, uh, we, the, we use the this method to access the video card, but the ROI based video quality uh, assessment cannot be used the G.1000 because ROI based video it cannot be the same because, uh, because it's done <coughs> like this. And I will introduce the how to access the video card use the uh, G.1000. So here, here is uh, the problems. And one is one of them is that how to estimate ROI based video quality and uh, how to get the video with best quality on the rich combination of bitrate, frame rate, and uh, packet raster. And first of all, is the system architecture of our um, is our system architecture. And because uh, our system is based on video conference, so first of all, the Kinect sensor, sensor can detect and exact the ROI um, and then send the video stream to the trans <coughs> transcoding server and the transcoding server may send a uh, transcoding video or normal video to the mobile client or some, some other PC client. And then the video quality assessment uh, running on the client, and then uh, it sends the feedback to the transcoding server. The feedback information about in, includes uh, video quality, bit rate, frame rate, and uh, packet last uh, last break. So this is how to, this is the actual recommendation about how to uh, estimate the video quality. Um, from from this in, uh, intuition, we can know that there are 12 uh, coefficients that are depend on code type, uh, video format, and uh, key frame intervals. And uh, from here, we know that BR is the frame, uh, bit rate, frame rate is FR is the frame rate, and uh, this one is the packet gross rate. Plus rate. So. Here is the um, schematic diagram of our ROI enable transcoding scheme that um, so, um, we proposed um, the ROI based transcoding video uh, quality estimation that um, we yeah, put a weighting um, vector W um, and then we base is, the, is, is this one except the ROIs the quality and uh, and uh, then is the video quality and uh, uh, 
and uh, VQ is means the overall video quality. So um, here is calculate the optimal uh, bitmate. Um, so is another um, problem is that how to regulate the video quality um, on the uh, limitation of bitrate uh, bandwidth. So uh, we have to know that calculate the optimal bitrate calculation for ROI and the non ROIs to achieve the uh, best uh, essential uh, quality because uh, if, the, if most of the bitrate on the ROI, maybe the um, essential, uh, there is a sharp contrast about the uh, ROI and the non ROI um, video. So, and then based on the bitrate alloc allocation, uh, we estimate <coughs> the quantization parameter for the ROI and the non ROI. And uh, so, uh, this is how to estimate the overall ROI based video quality. And uh, we use the uh, W for the weighting factors. And, uh, this equation is just uh, based on the uh, ITU uh, recommendation and uh, video quality. And uh, we have, this one is the big rate of ROI and uh, the other one is the uh, um, ROI. And uh, both of them have the same frame rate and the uh, rate. So, uh, we define uh, we de define that the factor P. Uh, which repre represents the ROI bitrate preparation in the total available uh, bandwidth. So the relationship between uh, video quality and the preparation bit is can be shown as follows. So uh, theoretically, we can get the exponent of the video quality by calculating the first. Uh, the derivative of the equation to get the optimal P. The equation P does the best potential with quality, uh, but the, however, the derivation uh, result is to convert to an analytic solution. So we use the multiple non narrow regression analysis to get the to get this result, so so we have to use the so here is our experiment and the result analysis. Um, we use this equation to estimate the weighting factors. So this is our SSS and uh, this is the experiment parameters. Uh, we use this one and then is our um, on the different on the, on the different value of B. Um, the video QS means the video uh, subjective subjective quality, and uh, between on the different uh, values uh, we get the video subject quality, and then the ROI bit rate and the ROI. ROI is, is that the video objective um, quality and then this is non ROI video quality and then we use this to get the value of W. So this is the on the different we got the W. This is about the weighting factors um, with different values of P. So we found that um, because we we how to um, ac um, access our the accurate of the of, of the um, weighting factor is that uh, we calculate the Pearson product moment of calculation and uh, between the corresponding video subject and the objective quality. So we we use this um, test to verify. And uh, we found that there is a, a maximum of the Pearson no, product uh, moment calculation. So we got the we got the 
that value to make the PR uh, to get the maximum. And so we got the op we obtained the optimal fabric. <coughs> so we have to we will regress the P and the and the big rate because we have we have to calculate the progression P and uh, so that we can up, uh, allocate the bit rate among the between the ROI and the non ROI. So we calculate the ROI based the value partnership with dip, with different values of the bit rate and the frame rate and uh, each uh, and uh, each combination of bit rate, frame rate and uh, there is the optimal P that maximize the overall, overall ROI based video card and then this one, this combination and uh, we got the op optimal P that uh, maximize the overall ROI based video card and then we plot the we plot every optimal P with big rate and free rate this is um, from this we almost get uh, the relationship between the PO and the free rate, big rate and free rate. So we use the non-virulate regulation and and, uh, and uh, this one, the functional relationship among the PO, big rate and free rate can be approximate by, by this function and uh, this is the result of the regulation in coefficient from this one that uh, the result is very good and uh, so we uh, we admit that um, this uh, regulation not exactly uh, obvious and so it, this is our final uh, importation um, among the about PL and the big rate and the frame rate so, Finally, we do the experimental result, and uh, um, the bit rate is 3 kbps, and the frame rate is 25, and uh, this is the ROI transcoding video and uh, non -R and uh, normal video uh, comparison, and uh, this is part of that. And uh, because we actually, in most of, uh, not most of, um, but we make sure that the ROI's video quality um, and uh, is the is better than the non ROI, and uh, then we test the uh, this condition that uh, the video quality. So this is the video quality. They are the same. That um, that means that means that our schema can regulate the video quality. So, so on the every on the every bit rate, frame rate, and uh, pass, and pass rate, uh, we can get the best uh, video quality. So, uh, this paper proposed a weighting method to extend the G dot one zero seven one zero seven zero model to support ROI based video quality evaluation, and uh, and then we proposed a normal uh, method to realize. Uh, real-time ROI-based video quality adaption and uh, through the video snap of original video and the transcoding video verifies that the video quality assess assessment and the regulation scheme is effective. And uh, here I want to thank my advisor. Um, he supports me twice um, that I so that I can attend this virtual twice. So, um, thank you very much. <coughs> So the weighting of the ROI and non-ROI seems to play a huge part in the assessment. Right. Um, I was just curious, how how did you determine the the W for that? And then the other question I had was, um, people are very sensitive to regions that have much higher quality 
um, surrounded by regions that aren't so high quality. And um, people have shown that basically you might as well just show them the small region of interest and nothing else, because it, it, once you get above a certain threshold, that the background just people can't deal with it. Well, because it's so visually different, they end up not paying it. You, you, so like in this example, if there's a too large a quality differential between the non-ROI and ROI region, it really messes with people's minds. And so they don't look, you know, the outside part ends up being more of a distraction because, it's, because the difference is so great. And so I guess the question was, how do you control, you know, how much bits are going to the ROI versus the non-ROI area. I got a um, question. And uh, about the first, uh, so the first question is that, how to, is the weighting vector, that right. right? Yeah. Um, we, so, uh, first of all, um, there are many, many experimental and uh, test sets about it, um, because we use such as um, our eyes um, region, the bit rate, um, the proportion of the RI is um, such as 60%. And then we calculate the, we calculate the uh, video subject, video subject, uh, subjective uh, quality. And then we calculate at one W value, right? But this is this is from what the G ten seventy thing was spitting out. Or? This is uh, the ROI region, the bit rate of ROI region. Um, on um, the proportion of the ROI. Okay. No, no, no. But in terms of the so you have a video video quality thing there, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then that we, that's from the G, the ITUs. ITUs. Yes. Okay. So that so. Okay. Um, I thought this is the subjective yeah. evaluation, right? This is the most value? Yes. Um, so they did do, okay, you did do, I was missing parts of this. No, 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 okay. no, no it's not for the subjective. Right? Okay, yes. um, okay. Um, first, first of all, we calculate the W. Okay, I, I, miss, I missed that part, so. Yeah, okay, part. very good. And then we, we can, so different values of P, and uh, we can get different values of W, right? So different W, we, we can get from the video subjective quality, and uh, we here we have the we have the W, so we can calculate the overall video quality. Yeah. The quality is the uh, objective, right? So we. We get the value of different value of W, and then we we put we put the value of W in here, and yeah. then we calculate the video quality, objective video quality. Yeah, so we we use the uh, here's a fragment. Um, we use this one to get the op yeah. optimal the yeah. W. Okay. Can you still say a bit more about your subjective study? I think you have 20 <coughs> participants, right? You have 20 participants in your subjective study, right? Um, how, how did you actually did this? Were all your conditions completely random, or did you went through the degrations, or did you compare? Did you show them the perfect image and then the um, the uh, degraded image, or? Uh, different. Uh, here is uh, is our text uh, set, and uh, we show different qualities. Yes, but you had 120 uh, samples, right? Yeah. Did you show them to the participants <coughs> in one order, or did you? Yeah. Random. Completely random. Yeah. Okay. It's curious that it's 70 per proportion of 70 percent. They all show a. Uh, a drug. Um, <laughs> well, it, no, it's just curious that when you were at 70 proportion of ROI, 
being at 70%, it uniformly, or pretty much uniformly took a drop in all studies. Right, which is, okay. that, that looks like there's something there you might want to pursue. <laughs> I mean, it might lead you to something interesting. I mean, it might just be a weird, you know, artifact. I don't know. Let's see, even that one. Yeah, they're all. Yes, um, thank you very much for the morning session. Thank you, speaker.